Microphone check, one, two, what is this? It's the five foot seven assassin in the podcast business. I am your host, Rohan Patra, the rap music plug at your service. Here we are again. The Rap Music Plug podcast presented by QLC TV is the remedy to the I don't have anything good to listen to problem. What you'll be listening to today is an installment of the Conversation Pieces series. What I'll be doing in this series is shining a light on some inspired gems of creativity and hip hop that I've encountered, providing expanded thoughts on fly things I've taken from the art, focusing on the how and the why I believe an artist ended up accomplishing something with a more nerdy intention that gives my completely subjective and biased take on what gives the special somethings in rap their magic. Close the door on what I tore apart, my heart is broken. Ball was in your court, I can't believe I left you open. I think this was precisely the line in Navy Blue's song Alignment from 2020 that first stopped me dead in my tracks and made me realize, okay, I need to pay attention to this song. It was written for me. Found on Navy Blue's excellent personal classic of a record, 2020's Song of Sage Post Panic, Alignment is not only a shining star within an album full of them, but I believe it is the best relationship song I've ever heard in my time listening to rap music. I find the general concept of relationship tracks to be a pretty tricky thing to pull off because not only is the artist trying to speak on subjects that are as abstract and indescribable, if you will, as love, lust, longing, loneliness, but the artist also really has to put themselves out there. They generally have to pull from real life personal experiences, which I can only imagine feels a bit like walking on a tightrope, since speaking from my own experience as just the person who makes this podcast, even when I try to pull from my personal life on this show, I'm very aware of not saying something I wouldn't want to be known publicly slash could hurt someone else if they were to hear it. And for as much as I try to personalize this experience for you and actually inject my personal life into my critique slash just discussion of music, the amount of me that needs to go into this show cannot even begin to compare to what an artist typically puts into uh, a series of relationship tracks that they make over the course of their careers. The courage and risk it takes to speak on such a touchy subject is always something I applaud from an artist regardless if they even execute the idea well or not. With Navy Blue though, His entire being is tailor-made for topics that require such skillful consideration as this. There is a delicate nuance that Navy displays on this track alignment that is transcendent. Alignment sees Navy describe a relationship that has ended, detailing his mind state that is a mixture of acceptance, understanding, and regret, showcasing a very solid spectrum of feelings one actually experiences in real life when it comes to breakups and romantic loss. As he always does, Navy finds a way to remain effortlessly poetic throughout while keeping his perspective firmly rooted in reality, ensuring that he doesn't come across overly dramatic or unrealistic, something that isn't often the case with music in this vein generally, which typically does indulge in the extremes, extreme lust, extreme longing, extreme sadness, Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that, and there's actually a lot of greatness to be found in music that touches on love that fall in the extreme categories. I think that leads to some very fantastic and powerful music that I always go go to and listen. But Navy's alignment is a sober, clear-headed take on a relationship that is no longer that really does differentiate it from the pack. Touching on a specific perspective with such precise detail that also relates so deeply to my own personal experience, which all combines to make this song so damn special to me. So the first part of this track 
mainly sets the tone, sets the context for this relationship he's discussing with nice poetic turns of phrase found like, thought I found a pot of gold but had to charm another cobra that I loved. But then there are very particular lines on this song that have stuck with me till this day. At the midway point, he raps, everything I know, pleasure on the brink of growth. Pleasure on the brink of growth. Wow. I just, I find this so profound because it's something I feel I've noticed in my own life and I've never heard someone else really put it into words. My take on it, obviously just my take could be complete bullshit. But the way I interpret this is Navy speaking on those times where you're still focused on the pleasure, the lust, the longing, the dopamine of a relationship that you're not able to actually see clearly and pull out the things that you are supposed to learn and grow from from that experience. I love the way he puts this showing that he in this song is so close to breaking past that point to actually begin learning and moving forward, but isn't there yet. He's still in that kind of pleasure phase. And then finally, we get to the lines I mentioned in the intro. Close the door on what I tore apart. My heart is broken. Ball was in your court. I can't believe I left you open. Here, Navy is acknowledging that he put the progression or termination of this relationship he had with a woman in her hands and can't believe he actually let that happen, aka left them open with the ball, masterfully continuing this basketball metaphor, putting it into the context of a relationship. I take this as meaning that either he regrets letting this relationship get to a point where the ball was in her hands, where they had the ability to again, decide the fate of the relationship, if you will, this could be due to his own actions of not being a good enough partner and really kind of pushing this person to have to make a decision that's best for them, as well as it also could be the genuinely healthy mind state of letting your partner have the space to make a thoughtful decision and then honor said decision. And he could be just struggling with accepting what he just let happen, even if again, it is the healthy, fair and loving thing to do, which is accept the wishes of the person that you supposedly love. I've just never heard someone articulate this kind of multifaceted difficulty found when a relationship is ending with such ease as Navy does here. Because as he says in the remaining lines of this song, Navy seems to know this, this relationship ending was for the best. But that doesn't mean he also doesn't feel the pain of sadness or regret because with romance and relationships often the rational understandings get overcome by the emotionally charged feelings of longing and loneliness where navy may want to not let her leave even if he simultaneously acknowledges that if she were to stay it wouldn't be good for them both but again in the moment he's kind of capturing both sides the rational mind the sober thought the clear head that says bro, this is for the best. And he also manages to capture the other side that says, I don't care what's for the best. I want this person in my life. I need them. All of that attachment, all of that, all those fears, he really captures it in such a concise fashion on this song in less than three minutes. He captures the seven layer cake of feelings that a person goes through when a relationship is no more with absolute eloquence. There's a reason Billy Woods once said that Navy Blue acts like Jesus probably would have acted. Navy just possesses this innate emotional intelligence that allows him to speak on things in a way very few people can. The skillful maneuvering Navy displays on this track with such a muddy topic is magnificent. As I reflect on times in my life where a relationship has ended, that idea of putting the ball in the girl's court, regretting that decision, and then having to come to terms with the reality of what they decided to do and make do with that could not have been captured as thoughtfully and as poetically as Navy Blue does on this song. This track is serene in instrumentation, rich in elegant, well-chosen lyrics, 
and packed with thoughtful substance that is sublime which is why I personally feel that Alignment by Navy Blue is one of rap's definitive relationship songs. So there we have it. Another episode of the Rap Music Plug podcast presented by QLC TV. I hope this episode gave you some new perspectives and insights into what the greatest art form known to man in hip hop music has to offer. If you want to support the show in the most meaningful way possible, it would be my absolute honor to have you as a patron in the new Rap Music Plug podcast Patreon. Through this Patreon, you will be getting exclusive content such as bonus episodes, exclusive album recommendations, exclusive playlists, early access to episodes, and more. And above all though, you will be able to support the show directly in a way that will not only justify the crazy amount of time I spend on this show already, but allow me to cover some of the expenses related to supporting all of these great artists that we cover on the show through the website and will allow us to sustain and build on this amazing growth that the RMPP has experienced recently. So if you have any questions about any of the Patreon stuff or just want to keep tabs on the show, interact with me on rap music and all the great stuff that we can talk about, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at rapmusicplugpod or shoot me an email at qlctv.podcast at gmail.com. You can also rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts and subscribe on YouTube and Spotify as well. But that's enough self-promotion for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.